Hey there, just wanted to give you guys an overview of how to use the new Copilot feature in Say Intentions. All right, this is really, really cool. There's a number of things you can do with the Copilot. Uh, he can manage um, some or all of your comms for you and at your request. There's no menus, there's nothing to click, so we retain that sort of high level of immersion that we're uh, uh, used to and known for. Uh, first thing we need to do, though, is set up the copilot. Now, the copilot is attached to um, an intercom channel. And as of our newest version, you can now have multiple intercoms on the system. So we're going to go over here to the intercom tab in the settings. And the first thing we're going to do is assign a uh, copilot to be on intercom channel one. In this case, we're going to add uh, Bill B. McStone. You've got lots of choices here. Some of them are funny. Some of them are professional. Um, including uh, Eric Cartman as your co-pilot if you want. Um, Sanjay is, uh, is quite professional if you want that. Heinz is quite professional. Uh, we'll grab Bilby. He's kind of funny. Um, and then, uh, so he's now our co-pilot attached to channel one on the intercom. And just for fun, uh, on this other one, we're going to add, we can add a cabin crew, anyone we want. Um, you know, Laura, for example, anything we want. I'm, you, this allows you to have both a co-pilot and a cabin crew at the same time if you want. Now, to set this up, uh, now that I've got uh, basically Bilby, uh, our co-pilot on channel one, and I've got our cabin crew on channel two, we need a way to talk to them. So we're going to go over here to the controls tab, and we've already got a button mapped to our, um, our radio push to transmit, the PTT here. Now we need to assign two more buttons. Uh, so we're going to assign an intercom PTT channel one, and remember, channel one is Bilby. That's our co-pilot. So I'm going to click this, and now I'm going to hit the button on my um, on my yoke. All right, that's now assigned to intercom channel one. And let's go ahead and assign another button to be the push to transmit on intercom channel two. So that's right here. Click that. Click the other button. There we go. Now I've got my co-pilot on intercom channel one, and I've got my uh, cabin crew on intercom channel two. If you want, there's one other feature you can add, which is the ability to just turn the intercom off completely. So we can actually come in here and add an intercom on off button if we want right here. And then I press a button on my yoke. And now I have another button where I can just turn the intercom completely off if I don't want to hear from any of those people. All right, that's it. We're now set. That's all the setup you have to do to make this thing work. Now let's hit OK. And if I want to talk to uh, Bilby, my co-pilot, I just press the channel one push to transmit like this. Uh, hey, sir, what's your name? Hey, man, I'm Bilby McStone, your co-pilot. Just here to handle the radios and help out with the basics. Cool. All right. And I've got cabin crew on the other channel. I can talk to them the same way. But let's focus on the co-pilot for just a minute. Right now... I'm the one handling all of the comms, right? I've got a co-pilot sitting there. He's capable of doing all kinds of things, but I'm the one in charge. And you'll notice up here on the top right, it says pilot. That means I, as the pilot, am the one handling um, all, of the, uh, all of the comms right now. Really, really simple. So uh, I can hand control of the comms over to Bilby anytime I want. And there's a, the, the difference is that if I hand control of the comms over to Bilby, uh, all I have to do, uh, basically he'll respond to ATC automatically for me, right? So he'll take care of handoffs um, and all of those things um, automatically. If ATC reaches out to me, Bilby will respond. However, I can still use him as my co-pilot and I can still use him to handle comms without turning it all over to him. In other words, even though I'm the pilot and I'm in charge of comms right now, I can still ask him to do stuff. Uh, let me give you an example. Hey, Bilby, can you contact uh, Denver Tower and just find out what the active runway is right now? Okay, now notice the frequency right now is 121.85. Yo, I'll hit it, up Denver Tower and get the active runway info for you, man. It just Denver flipped to 124.3. Tower, he changed Sky the frequency. Skyhawk 3 Alpha Charlie. Denver Tower, can you verify which runway is currently active for us? Skyhawk 123 Alpha Charlie, Denver Tower, runways 16 right, 17 left, 16 left, 17 right, 8 and 7 are currently active. You can use runway 7 unless you have a different preference. Okay, so this is really important. I asked him to do something. He tuned the radio for us, contacted them, 
And then, of course, they responded, right? Perfect. Now, he's not in charge of the comms right now. I am. So if Tower reaches out to me or someone reaches out to me, it's still my job to reply uh, to that message. But I can ask him to do all kinds of stuff. I can ask him to pick up our IFR clearance or whatever. In fact, let's ask him to do that. Uh, hey, Bilby, can you pick up our IFR clearance for us? And what he's going to do, first of all, notice the comm radio here. Yo, I'll get our IFR clearance It just clearance changed to 118.75, which is the clearance frequency here at Denver. Denver clearance. Skyhawk 3 Alpha Charlie. We'd like to request our IFR clearance. We have uniform. Now, I love, first of all, the fact that <laughs> the, his speaking style is so Delta funny. Delta 1531, Denver clearance. Cleared to Denver via the Hurricane 4 departure, then is filed. Climb and maintain 5,000. Expect flight level 380, 10 minutes after departure. Departure on 126.05, squawk 3125. Denver clearance, Delta 1531, cleared to Denver read this using back. the Hersey N4 departure, then as filed. <laughs> Climb to and maintain 5,000, anticipate flight level 380, 10 minutes post-departure. Departure frequency is 126.05, squawk 3125. Delta 1531, read back correct. Ground is on 119.475, safe flight, sir. All right, he did it. He picked up our IFR clearance for us. First of all, ignore the fact that he spoke so slowly. That's part of the voice. It's part of the personality. It's funny. Um, <laughs> I I laugh every time I use Bill B for the co-pilot. I think he's hilarious. Uh, but one of the things I want you to, uh, to to keep in mind is he read that clearance back, but it was in his own words, right? And, and really his own personality was used to read that back. Super cool. Nobody else can do anything like this. But again... Bilby is still not in charge of the comms. And you go, well, how do, I, how do I do it? There's no switch. There's no button. Right. That's because real ATC, real pilots, real everything don't use a button to tell the co-pilot that they're in charge of the comms. Watch this. Hey, Bilby, can you handle the comms from now on? Watch what happens. Ding. Yo, I'll take over the comms for you, man. No worries. Ding. And co-pilot up here is now in charge of the comms, right? Uh, I can still ask him to do stuff, so I can say, Bilby, can you call and get our taxi instructions? Can you call for takeoff clearance? Those are things I have to ask him to do, right? But once we're up in the air, he'll handle everything because, you know, when they tell us to contact departure, he'll contact departure for us. When uh, we get a frequency handoff, he'll handle the handoff and the check-in. All of that stuff is completely automatic. If I want to take the comms back again, just like in real life, there's nothing to click on. You just tell the co-pilot you want the comms back. Uh, hey, Bilby, I'll be in charge of the comms now. And just like Yo, that. Yo, all right, man, you're in charge of the comms now. I'll chill and let you handle it. <laughs> I love Bilby. That's it, though. This is how it works. You, wanna, you want the co-pilot to run things? Just tell him to run things. You want to run things? Go ahead and run things. But you can ask the co-pilot to do anything you want from the comms perspective even if he's not the guy who's auto-responding to air traffic control and handling the readbacks and the handoffs, right? Guys, this is the single best implementation of a co-pilot in all of the ATC products out there. There's nothing like this. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. There's a ton of different personalities, and we're always taking um, suggestions on this.